Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In the previous video, I showed you how to create this CRUD application using Next.js and MongoDB. So here we can see we have these uh, topics displayed over here and we are fetching all these topics from a MongoDB. And then we have the option of deleting the topics and we also have the option of editing the topics. And then we also have the option of adding a new topic. And I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. Now in this video, I'll show you how to deploy this website to Netlify for free. So let's get started. Right, this is the source code of our project and uh, I'll just quickly go ahead and clone this to my system. So let's go over here to code and uh, let's copy this link from here. So let's click on copy. And here I'm in my finder and uh, I'll just go over here and right click and click on new terminal at folder. And if you're using Windows, you can just open command prompt. And here I'll just type git clone and paste the link over here. Now, if the git command is not working in your Windows computer, you can just go ahead and install a tool called git bash. And then it will work. So let's go ahead and press enter. And here we can see that our project is being cloned to our local system. So here we have the project. Right now let's go into the project so i'll just type cd and uh, let's type the name of the folder and now we are in the folder and now i'll just open this with vs code so i'll just type code dot and here we can see that our project is opened in vs code so i'll just quickly go ahead and uh, set everything up so first of all we need to install all the dependencies so i'll just open the terminal so i'll just go to view and click on terminal and here let's type npm i to install all the packages. And once you install everything, you have to create an env file. So at the root of our project, let's create a new file and let's name it .env. And now we need to add this env file to the git ignore so that uh, it is not pushed to our repository. Here we have already added env. Right now let's go ahead and add the necessary environment variables. So we need to add the environment variable for the mongodb. So if you go over here to libs and if you open mongodb.js file, here we need to create this variable called mongodb uri. So I'll just copy this and I'll just paste it over here. And we need to set it to the mongodb connection string. So I'll just quickly go to mongodb.com and we'll just sign in and uh, I'll just sign in with my Google account. Right now I have logged into my MongoDB account and uh, this is the project called CRUD. And let's get the connection string. So you can just click on connect. And if you click on MongoDB for VS Code, you can find the connection string over here. And here we also need to have the password, but uh, I don't remember it. So let's go back and uh, let's go to database access. And uh, I'll just click on edit. And I'll just edit the password and uh, let's create a new password. So I'll just click on auto generate secure password and I'll just copy this password from here and uh, let's paste it over here and let's go back and uh, let's update the user. Right now let's go back to the database and uh, let's click on connect and uh, let's click on MongoDB for VS code and let's copy this connection string and uh, let's go back to VS code and I'll just paste it over here. And here in place of this password, we need to add this password. So I'll just cut the password and paste the password over here. And in the end, we also need to add the database name. So here, if you go to browse collections, here we can see that it is called CRUD DB. So let's go ahead and type CRUD underscore DB. And that's it with the env file. Right now let's go ahead and close this and uh, let's run this project and let's see whether everything is working all right. So let's type npm run dev and let's open this URL localhost 3000. And here we can see that the data is being displayed and uh, the same data that we have in MongoDB is displayed over here. And let's add a new topic. I'll just type test, test and click on add topic. And the topic is being added. Let's update it. So I'll just type updated. And here we can see it is being updated and uh, let's also delete it. And the topic is being deleted. So everything is working all right. Right now let's set everything up for deploying the project. So 
the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to change this uh, URL over here. So if you go back to one of these pages, so if you go over here to add topic, here we can see that we have this uh, URL set to localhost 3000 and then we have API topics. And then if we open edit topic, here also we have localhost 3000. But when we deploy this project, we need to add the updated URL over here. So I'll just store the API URL in an environment variable. So let's go back over here and uh, here let's type API underscore URL. And here let's type HTTP colon localhost colon 3000. And let's add this everywhere instead of hard coding this URL. So I'll just save this and uh, I'll just stop and start the server once again. And uh, let's go back over here and uh, let's go to page.jsx. And since this is a client component, we can just simply go ahead and remove all of this from here. We can simply type API topics and it will work. And uh, now let's go ahead and open edit topic page.jsx. And here instead of localhost 3000, we need to add the API URL. So here I'll just type const API URL equals process.env.api URL. And let's go ahead and add it over here. So I'll just delete this. And let's type dollar symbol curly braces API URL. And let's scroll down and let's see whether we have any more API calls. Right now let's move on to the next page and here we don't have anything so let's go to the components and here in edit topic form this is a client component so we can just simply go ahead and remove this and uh, now let's go to navbar and here we don't have any api calls now let's go to remove button and uh, this is also a client component so i'll just delete this and uh, let's go to topics list and uh, now let's go ahead and add the api url env variable over here so just type const api url equals process dot env dot api url and here i'll just delete this local host from here and let's type dollar symbol curly braces and here let's type api url and let's scroll down and uh, everything looks all right Right now let's quickly check whether everything is working so let's add a new topic and it is working let's update it and the update is working let's delete it and the delete is also working right everything is working all right so let's go back and the last thing we will do in our project is that we will go to the home page now since we don't know the api url as of now We'll just go ahead and uh, return a simple div over here instead of topics list because if we return this then we will have some errors in uh, deploying so i'll just return a simple div I'll just tap hello now before deploying this uh, we need to create a github repo so right now this is already a github repo so i'll just go to the folder and i'll just go over here and uh, i'll just delete this dot git folder now this is basically a hidden folder so if you cannot find it in Mac, you can just press command shift and full stop. And I'll just go ahead and delete this git folder. Right now, let's go back over here. And now if I just stop this server and if I just type git status. And now we can see that it says that this is not a git repository. Right now, let's go back to our GitHub account. And let's click on this plus icon and uh, let's create a new repository and I'll just name it crud and I'll just change this to private and let's go ahead and uh, click on create repository right now let's go back to our VS code and uh, now the first thing we need to do is we need to initialize this github repo so I'll just type git init and uh, now we need to add all these files and folders to our repo so let's type git add dot to add everything and if i just type git status we can see that all these files and folders have been added and then we need to commit all the files so let's type git commit and we need to add a message so i'll just type first commit and let's press enter all right now let's go back to our github repo and uh, let's copy these three lines of commands from here 
and let's paste it over here and press enter and now we can see that everything has been pushed to our github repo so if i just type git status we can see that we are up to date right now let's go back to our github repo and uh, let's refresh this page and now here we can see our source code is being displayed right now the next thing we need to do is we need to create an account on netlify and log into the account so you can just go to netlify.com and create a new account or you can just log in with your github account and here we can see that i have logged in with my github account All right now the next thing we need to do is go to sites and then you have to click on add new site and click on import an existing project and here you have to click on github and if you scroll down here we have a previous project and if you want to add new repositories you can just click on this link right here configure the netlify app on github and i'll just quickly go ahead and uh, authenticate right now let's scroll down and uh, here you can select all the repositories if you want i'll just select only selected repositories and let's click on this select repository drop down and let's search for our repo and it is called crud so i'll just click on crud and let's click on save and now here we can see that our repository is being displayed so let's select this and here we have all these options so i'll just leave it as it is and here we see that netlify has auto detected that it is a next project and let's click on show advanced and let's add environment variables over here so let's click on new variable and here let's type mongo db uri and let's go back to vs code and let's go to the env file and let's copy this uri from here and let's paste it right here and we need to add one more variable so let's click on new variable and let's type api url and uh, for now we don't have any url so let's go ahead and uh, paste the same thing over here later we will change this to the url of our website so now let's go ahead and click on deploy site and now we can see that site deploy is in progress so i'll just click on this link and uh, let's click on this and here we can see that our progress is being displayed And now we can see that our project has been deployed and uh, let's go over here to options and let's click on deploy settings and let's go over here to domain management and here let's click on options and let's click on edit site name and let's change this url so i'll just add something over here i'll just type gt topics and uh, let's click on save and here we can see we have our website gt topics.netlify.app and let's open this and here we have our app and uh, let's go to our api and let's see whether the data is being displayed so i just type forward slash api forward slash topics and here we can see that our data is being displayed so the api is working all right now let's go ahead and uh, display the topics over here and before that you need to update the api url so i'll just copy this url from here and let's go back to the environment variables let's scroll down and here let's open api url and let's go to options and edit and here i'll just change this to the url and i'll just remove the forward slash and let's go ahead and click on save variable right now let's go back to our vs code and uh, let's go back to page.jsx file over here and uh, let's delete this return from here and i'll just uncomment this topics list and now let's go ahead and uh, push this change to our github repo so i'll just type git add dot git commit and for the message i'll just type added topics list and uh, let's type git push but now let's go back to netlify and uh, let's go to deploys and here we can see that the build process has started automatically and let's click on that 
and here we can see that the build is running and here we can see our deploy has completed so let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and here we can see all the topics are displayed and let's click on add topic and let's see whether everything is working so let's add a new topic let's type crud create read update delete and let's click on add topic and here the topic is not displayed but if you refresh this page now it is being displayed and uh, the update let's see whether it is working and the update is working all right let's delete it and the delete is also working all right but when we add it we need to automatically refresh this page so further let's go back to our vs code and i'll just quickly go ahead and do that let's go to add topic page.jsx file and uh, here i'll just type router.refresh and let's go ahead and quickly push that so i'll just type git add dot git commit m and let's type added router refresh and uh, git push and now let's go back to netlify and uh, the deploy should automatically start and here we can see that it is automatically started and it has been deployed successfully so let's go back and let's refresh this page and let's add a new topic and let's see whether it is automatically being refreshed so let's click on add topic and here we can see that it is being refreshed so everything is working all right so that's basically how you can deploy your nextjs application to netlify for free all right so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day